Hey Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This is your next three months love, general career, finance, and general situation for you, Sagittarius. I hope you are well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today, Sagittarius, this reading for today is an exciting reading, okay? Uh, we will pick up love, career, finance, and general situationship. What is the guided message for Sagittarius, please, next three months? What is the message for you? What's the offers, offer, person, people that would be connecting with Sagittarius, please? What is the highlight of your next three months? What's the guided message, important message for Sagittarius, please? What can I get for Sagittarius next three months? You've got a nine of swords. You're overthinking, guys. What is wrong, Sagittarius? Two of Pentacles. Mm. Four of Swords. What is the guided message for Sagittarius, please? What is the next three months for you? What are the block, the offers? What is the guided message, please? What's the advice for Sagittarius? How to manage the block? How to remove the block? How to manage the blessing? How to remove the block? Who's coming towards Sagittarius in career? Finance, romantic, and general situation, please. Nine and ten. Temperance card. Mm. Sagittarius, what's coming to your world? Oh, Knight of Swords. Okay. The Hermit card. You get the Four of Cups. The Page of Pentacles reset. Mm. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Ooh, look at that. I was like, when I was shuffling it, I was like, this is a bit complicated in the next three months. Is there anything excited in here? And then my guide told me, look at the bottom card. And that is the lover's card. Okay, so we'll keep this because this is a very guided message in here. Okay, that's a, let's put it here. We will ask question about this lover's energy. Now, let's look into your overall energy for the next three months. You know, what's the next three months overall guided energy for Sagittarius, please? Give us the guided message, guided energy for Sagittarius. How to remove block, how to get luck, how to remove block. What's the attitude pattern or cycle that needs to be changed? What is the guided message for Sagittarius, please? Okay. You get the Three of Pentacles, the Justice card, Reciprocation, and the Magician card. And this card wanted to come out. Ooh, the Star card. That is amazing. Okay. So, looking into your energy reading in the next three months. And I would like to cover as well, you know. I would like to, co to cover and channel the vibe up until January to February of next year, Sagittarius. Um, so you started with the Three of Pentacles and the Justice card. Make the effort. Yeah. Now, we have November and December. We still have November. We still have November and December, okay? Now, there's some sort of... I'm kind of getting like, you know, with the, the Three of Pentacles and the Justice card, I'm really hearing make the uh, make the effort, you know, make the effort. It counts. Make the effort. Initiate. Initiative. Make the effort. It counts. So I'm hearing that very clearly. So it could be connected to, I'm hearing the word, like, <laughs> I'm hearing the word dead project, okay? Or it, it kind of speaks to me. Um, that there is a situation or a project or maybe a connection with somebody where it's really like below zero. <laughs> it's like this is dead. No energy. Negative, negative, negative zero. If there's a negative zero, that's it. Now, the universe is telling you that if you think those missed opportunity or maybe there's a part of it, nah, it will never work. Nah, it's zero, negative. Like maybe you have a ne like you have a zero interest. Now, I'm seeing three every month, every month, 
in the next three months, every month, you would have an opportunity to connect with a person, possibly a past offer. I feel like it's more of November, December, okay? November, December, I'm seeing three offers that will come back, okay? Um, three, of, three of Pentacles, the Justice card. In the next two months, there's going to be a... Th there's going to be three, three offers from the past. It will reconnect with you, okay? Now, the thing with this offers, three, one, two, three, justice card, it's really meant to come back to you in the last two months of this year. It feels like a vibe where it's last two minutes, you got to shoot the ball. So there is a bit of impromptu action and reaction that you would have to give to this person or situation that would return magician card a star card it's it's meant to return for some reason it could be to give a closure proper proper closure goodbye or to look at it in a different way if you could still explore and pull it and make it a new offer okay because the when the magician card and the, the magician card sun card this just this is really destiny this is divine timing telling you. Do you want to look at it again, Sagittarius? And there's something in here that you could reuse. And I'm also getting like, in the past, your feelings towards this person, situation, offer is different. When it returned to you in the next two months, you know, in, in, the, last, in the last weeks of 2022, I want you to feel the offer, the person, the situation, because it's it's completely different. So that perception of you where, eh, nah, it's negative. Like it's, no, it something like something dead could come alive with the magician card, the star card. You know, I mean, I'm saying this to you um, in a like metaphorical, like something so zero could go to ten magically. You know, like it's. It, it came for you, you know, it came back. If you would like it, make an effort, take the initiative, explore, dive into it because it could jumpstart from zero to 100. Three offers or three person or three situation. The magician card, the star card. It's more of, okay, this is the last two minutes of, this is the last two months of 2022. Hey, Sagittarius, I've got to give you this. Try, look at it, feel it. You know, it would be it would be different from each one of you, but with the justice card, you know, it is more of to justify, like it's like something the universe is justifying to you that we're bringing you something, and if you want it, you need to take initiative. You need to take some time and effort to explore, to unwrap it again, because the way you look at it in the past, it's different now. It's different now. So that's overall vibe something tells me that you know i'm kind of i'm kind of seeing an image of you're sitting like it's it's like a game of thrones you know you're sitting in your throne okay you're sitting in your throne sagittarius and in the next three months opportunities people person situation will line up to you and you will swipe it Okay, swipe it to the, I think to the left is, okay. So if you swipe it to the left, it's, you don't like it. If you swipe it, swipe it to the right, you like it. So, you know, you're sitting there. Okay, this one I don't like, this one I like, you know. So a lineup of that would happen to you, okay. I'm seeing that happening. It could also be an invitation, okay. Because with the nine of swords, the two of pentacles, the four of swords, from nine to four, I feel like it's this month. This month, you don't like it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Sorry, Sagittarius, this month, it feels like you would have, it feels like a, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it's so funny, the words that I'm hearing. So nine of swords, two of pentacles, the four of swords, like, so you're sitting here like this month, you will be, <laughs> this month, you will be surprised because 
a different variation of people, person, situation, invitation will come in and out of your life. And I feel like it's happening very soon. It's going to happen very soon. <laughs> I feel like it's going to happen after the full moon where this person, you haven't seen them, but they want to talk to you. This person is inviting you. This person is wanting to like heaps, nine of swords, like what? Why am I being hunted by people from the past who I'm not interested with? You know, nine of swords and two of pentacles. You know, if I ask you, how's life? You know, oh, I've got lots of invitation, but I don't like it. I've got lovers. I don't like it. I've got offers in here. I don't think I like it. So it's more of four of swords. It's just the universe is like giving you a clean up. Because you've got, they've got unfinished business with you. So I'm seeing like after probably the full moon, after the full moon this month, you know, November, I'm seeing you being, you know, being bombarded by a lot of offers, people, person, situation, maybe invitation. And I'm seeing you, four of swords. No, get out of my way. Like, no, no way, no way, no, no, I'm close. So for some of you, I'm also picking up that there's a lot of people that's wanting to connect with you, but you don't have time, you know. So I feel like it's good that you're saying no. I feel like there is something about this month and after the full moon that you have to say no. You know, you have to, you have to say a definite, like you have to say a decisive no to people that you don't want to be part of your life or people offers that you don't want because they will follow you again next year. So four of swords, but from nine of swords, it downgraded to four. So, but then you will also pick up some people invitation offers maybe creative project because this is also like you've got lots of stuff you know this is the feeling of you've got lots of things in your head in your plate you know so maybe from nine you it will go down to four so maybe it's a feeling sagittarius where you will have a lot coming your way imagine you know after the full moon there's a lot coming your way people, person, situation, ideas, invitation, place it. There's a lot in your mind. And two of pentacles, you'll take time to, okay, this is cross or swipe it to the left, swipe it to the right until you get to a point of four of swords, you know. So I'll tell you, there's some of it that you know, X, no way, closure. They will never come back. No way, I won't go there. I won't accept that or I won't do that project. And then among those incoming there's four that you would retain okay i mean like this is your maybe you know you're gonna keep i see i see four for four creative like four four things i don't know it could be creative it could be person people maybe four things that you want to do before the end of this year but i'm seeing a lot of incoming towards you you know uh, messages but you will pick the best and for some of you, it's more of with the four of swords. Well, if you look at the three of swords, there's one close to you, but still not not close enough. I'm, I feel like your standard is high, Sagittarius. But you'll keep some of the so the incoming pe person, people, invitation, creative creative project, whatever it is. It's a lot. It's gonna be activated after the full moon. It's gonna be activated. It's coming your way. Um, some of it you'll definitely say no. But there are some of it that you would say maybe and some of it, yes. Okay, there's one among, imagine this is nine. <laughs> Out of nine, you'll accept three as a maybe and then one, I'll keep it, you know. So it, it feels like, it feels like you have, you are in your inventory. Like you, you're, I don't know, you're sorting out something. Yeah, oh, Ace of Pentacles. You know, this could be, you know, I feel like it is, like it's a breakthrough, you know, it could be money. Now I'm picking up money. Yeah. It could be like, it will also be, I'm kind of picking up idea. You have so much, like if you're creating a business, you have so much idea. You have so much colors to pick. Like there's a lot, there's a lot to choose from. And it's making you confused. But after the full moon, you'll be able to pick 
the best four. And then among the four, you will keep one concept, maybe one person, one idea. But you'll go through a series of selection. Thank you, Spirit. You know, I'm picking up in here. Go, You'll go through a series of selection. And my intuitive is telling, go for it, Sagittarius. Go eat one by one in the selection process because one of those offers or person or or invitation or creative ideas it will turn into gold ace of pentacles what i feel is like it's tiring it's time consuming but there's gold if you dig deeper there is gold in there although i feel like it's still not what exactly what you need but it's going to give you the ace of pentacles like you have this high standard you exactly know what you're looking for it's not exactly this one I feel like there's, you You want more. I'm going to pick up this money. Okay, for the start, I'll keep the Ace of Pentacles, but I want more. And it's good to want more, you know. You want more. You really want more. And the universe is receiving you. But for now, I feel like, okay, I'll go for the Ace of Pentacles. It's go. Okay, there's something that, a series of selection, and then you'll come up with an Ace of Pentacles. Let's see, one more. Yeah, Five of Pentacles. And I'm sorry for those... <laughs> I'm hearing the word. You're gonna be a heartbreaker. So for some of you, you're for some of you guys, you guys are really so for some of you, you're gonna really leave someone behind you. Whether it's a friend or lover, if it's a relationship, you're gonna de definitely say a no to somebody. Like it was a pleasure saying no to you. I feel like it's an ex or like a, a friend who betrayed you, and you're like, whoa. It's a pleasure saying no to you. Yeah, Queen of Wands. Look at that. I don't know, guys, but you're in your power. You are in your power to select and to say no, and you're enjoying it. And in your selection process, you will find an Ace of Pentacles. You are in your power. You are in the right maturity. You're in alignment of what you want. You do not care if it takes time. But for you, um, what matters is I get what I want. Yes, it will take time, but at least I get what I want. No more, no less. You know, well, actually, you want more. But for a start, I think you would, because this Ace of Pentacles, it could grow. So, yeah, something that you would get out of the Ace of Pentacles and you need to grow it, you know. So, good. There's going to be a selection process. And then the second reading. So I feel like this is connected to money. Maybe it's a business partnership, you know, for some of you guys. Or maybe this is a job. You know, you've been applying. And then immediately, then you would eventually... you. It's a reading this month where you will, you will, you will find a great deal. Like you will find... You will find something. Yeah. You'll find something better. I'm kind of intrigued with the Ace of Pentacles in here. Oh, the Devil card. I feel like for some of you, you said no already to this Ace of Pentacles. And then they came back. And they look like a swan. You know, it's a... You know, when they were when they were offering something to you, it's like an ugly duckling. And then when they return, they're now a swan. Because it feels like, I've, I've said no to this person. Well, I say yes. There's one of the offer in here, selection, is quite unique. You know, because you said no and they're back. And you said to this person, I will never get back to you. But then you said, you might say yes. So, anyhow, it's a process. I feel like it's a process. With this three of swords. But you would be able to get one. One that will really suit your need being the queen of wands in here. Enjoy the selection process. That's it. Yeah, enjoy the selection process. And, um, okay, let's pick up more intuitive message for you. You've got the Ten of Swords the here and the Nine of Swords. Wow, this is heavy. Six of Wands. So there's going to be a message online, and this is a personal relationship. Okay. The Death card. Could be a Scorpio and the King of Swords. You know, there is a relationship, like there's a connection. 
I feel like Sagittarius, if you're gonna... I feel like Sagittarius, if you focus on money, if you focus on money, finance, career, productivity, you will never be wrong with your choice, okay? Because I feel like um, when it comes to deciding where do you want to go in terms of your productivity, expansion, I feel like you're quite decisive. Because I've channeled... I've, I've also channeled in here your weakness. Like if you have an offer, what would make you not so successful? Just to warn you, like to give you a nudge and where do you need to improve? Your emotions is getting in the way to decide. You know, Ten of Swords, the Temperance card, the Knight of Swords. There is a person that would connect to you. They will use... They will use your feelings in your soft, weak spot for you to say yes to them. You know, king of swords. They look like they're not convincing you. But the way they talk to you, the way they give you examples, like there's a, this person will make you feel a little bit guilty for you to accept them or to give them or... It, this is heavy. It feels like the soulmate card in here. It's like, it's like it could be like an ex where, okay, I understand you don't want me anymore. You don't want to accept me, but I just want you to know that you're the best person and they will, you know, when we went to there or we went to that or they will even send you pictures or previous messages or previous video. I feel like this person is like there's an emotional blackmail. Yeah, Eight of Wands. There's a person in your past. Yeah. You know, you're quite, you're, you're tired. You're tired dealing with this person. It could also be a family member. You know, I'm kind of picking up that. You've got this family member or you've got this person where they know how to somehow manipulate you or feel you guilty. They will use that images, text, previous nice experience they will bring it in the table they will bring it in the conversation so you're lured back to kind of forgive them or to change your mind about them what's the advice please oh two of wands no x you know i think my phone is ringing Let's speak to you later baby um two of wands X. Yeah, it's an X. What's the advice, please, two of wands? Look, the universe is telling you, Sag, nine of cups. Look, enjoy your life. Whoever this person is, you know, they cannot make you happy. This person cannot make you happy. This person is still incomplete. They cannot make you happy, and they're incomplete. Yeah, page of swords. Why is that? Let's ask. This is the lover's card. Nice one. Nice one. Thank you, spirit. Because I'm going to ask him, because the direct advice. So this is a soulmate. There is a soulmate who I'd say. I don't want to say the word because I might be banning here, but. This person is a mother of dragon. <laughs> like, they burnt you out. Like, um, this is a lover. This is a soulmate who you have a big heart for them. Let's put it that way. It could, it could also be a relative. It could be a friend. But there is a special relationship between the two of you. There's so many nice memories between the two of you. I would say there is an unbreakable bond in the past between the two of you that's how strong your bond is but the universe is saying nine of cups come on yeah you have them but they can never make you happy they bring you love and tragedy love and monster like they give you love and they also give you monster problem they have so many baggage it's more of if i give you i got love but you have so many but you cannot make me happy. You can make them happy, but they cannot make you happy. They have so many problems. Like there's love, but there's also monster. So the universe is telling you, nah, right now, sometimes, sometimes, Sagittarius, we need to, even like, even if it breaks our heart, we need to kind of let go 
because it's very important to have a peaceful decision. You know, if it costs your dignity, your self-respect, your self-love, then this person is not worth it. Like this could be the last hooray. This could be the last time they will, you know. And the reason why, and I've asked, you know, the Knight of Wands, ask, is there a replacement? Yes, there's a replacement. Knight of Wands, look at that. You have a replacement. So as soon as you say goodbye to this soulmate, the contract of you and this soulmate, done. Okay? So it's more of a reading. If you want this Knight of Wands, if you want to self your, like, if this is a, you know, because I'm kind of picking up family as well. If you want to sell, if you want to set yourself free from this contract of pulling you down, it's a pull down of vibe, better say no. Like, don't exaggerate it. Don't say it. Say nothing. Say less. Say nothing. Just say no. Thank you very much. After that, this is a closure and you've got a knight of wands. So there's a replacement. Could be a new person. You will meet this knight of wands or you will feel like a knight of wands. You feel like you're free. It's a feeling of if this is not romantic, you feel like you're free from a bond, from a heavy karmic bond, you know, like it would be like a father or a mother relationship where all they do is to say that they love you, but they give you problem. You know, I'm picking that up strongly in here, or it could be a lover who pledged their love to you, but they leave you and they keep breaking your heart and soul. So this could be the time you say no, no more, no less, just no, or say nothing at all. It will just close the loop and you would be set free. Like imagine yourself inside a volcano. I don't want to be here anymore. Yes, there's passion, but the passion is burning me. So if you say, no, I don't want to be here. The volcano will spit you out. The volcano will close and then you're free and you become a knight of wands. Or for some of you, after you know, you went out from this cycle. There's a knight of wands waiting for you, but you've got a replacement. Okay, I don't want you to fear because you've got a replacement. The knight of wands is coming for you. Yeah, I feel like this is around. Yeah, th I feel like this is around next month, the knight of wands. You know, the universe is always receptive of what we want. If we're still holding back into something, it creates a space in our energetic space if you're holding something that space is there but if you set it free the amount of space that you could get or you can put in there you know it's a lot so this knight of wands is one of that in this person's situation it's such a huge block in your life in your love life you know the chunk of block it has it's dark you know and it's and it's bigger so i'm glad that you gonna unload it and create a space for the knight of wands there's more to come if this is love there's more to come. If this is a relationship, you know, if this is a relationship, you know, your other relationship in your life will improve because this karmic bond is ended. You have a different perspective. You're more glowing. You're more, you're more glowing up. You're more smiling. You're more happier. You will meet a lot of friends. You have more, like a lot of benefits. I tell you, if you release this, there would be a lot of benefits for you, Sagittarius. Yeah, a lot of benefits from you. This is a huge block in your life. It is preventing you to be happy. It's preventing you to grow. It's it's like a, I don't know, for some of you guys, I'm sorry for this, like some self-sabotage belief or some limiting belief that this is the only soulmate I've got or I cannot break this because, no, that's not true. The universe is telling you it's time to say no or just give it no action, no power. Because after this, you will have multiple offers coming your way i feel like it's romantic i feel like it's also you will start to see the world differently you know there also there's also forgiveness and closure in here i'm kind of picking up that if you release forgive and surrender this huge block you will get more blessings like abundance one of the first one is if this is romantic you know for example if you you had a closure with like, for example, if you, you don't have a good relationship with your father or your mother and you forgive them, you release it, you know, you will now have a more respectful relationship with, you, with your future partner. There's some karmic genealogy that I'm picking up. It's, it's a lot, but there, sometimes we've got block, you know, some limiting belief that's blocked us from growth. 
from getting into that abundance because of you know childhood experience or past experience you know betrayal and stuff like that but this is one of those you will know you will know when this happened you will remember me like this oh this is what sunshine is talking about is to release this do not give it power do not even reply snap out yeah look at that they will pursue you high priestess i want you to be strong there is a very big like this is um yeah the reading is something is going to come back to you and the universe is wanting you to have have a look at it and make peace with it because it's gonna go it's gonna go high priestess and then after that things will be different things are more your vibe would be more happier more more welcoming more receptive you know you've got a night of ones in here for some of you you got a new job for some of you guys you know so for some of you you'll start to like i'm kind of feeling like you will start to feel you're connected to your present moment and the future is looking bright because this huge thing is out of your way so this is your reading I send you good vibe, Sagittarius. I send you good vibe. I send you love. And I say, uh, send you courage and be brave, you know. And this is your reading. Thank you so much. If you would like to further connect with me, check out the description box below. You'll see the details of my website. And my website will have the details of the products, the services, the merchandise that we offer. And thank you again. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.